In this lecture, we're going to look at an example that deals with convex or converging lenses. Suppose a 5 centimeter object is placed 1.2 meters away from a convex lens of a camera with a focal length of 60 millimeters. So in part A, we want to find the location of the image relative to our lens. And in part B, we want to find the size of the image relative to the size of our object. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. Let's suppose we take our convex lens, which is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges, and we place our object 120 centimeters, equivalently 1.2 meters away to the left of our lens as shown by the following arrow. So this is our object, and the object height is given by 5 centimeters. So we want to find the location of the image. So in part A, we want to find the image distance. And in part B, we want to find the size of the actual image compared to our object. So we want to find the image height. So let's begin with part A. What exactly is the image distance? Well, we know what the focal length is and we know what the object distance is. So that means to find our image distance, we can use the thin lens equation. The thin lens equation states 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. So let's rearrange our equation and let's bring our known values to the left side and the unknowns to the right side. So 1 divided by the focal length minus 1 divided by the object distance is equal to 1 divided by the image distance. So we know what the focal length is, it's equal to 60 millimeters. And we know what the object distance is, it's equal to 120 meters. So let's convert millimeters to meters by dividing this quantity by 1000 and we get 0.06 meters and this quantity is 1.2 meters. So 1 divided by 0.06 meters minus 1 divided by 1.2 meters gives us approximately 15.8 meters to the negative 1. So now we see 1 divided by di is equal to this quantity. So now we rearrange our equation and solve for di. So di is equal to 1 divided by 15.8 meters and that gives us about 0.063 meters or equivalently positive 6.3 centimeters. So what exactly is the meaning behind the positive? Well, the positive value in front of our image distance simply means that the image is found on the opposite side of where the light is coming from. So that means the image is found on the right side where the light is coming in from the left side. So positive means the image is real and on the right side of the lens. It's real because by definition a real image is an image in which the rays of light are actually passing through that image. So if we take a screen and place that screen right uh, behind our image, that image will appear on our screen. Now let's examine part B. In part B, we essentially want to find the height of our image or the image height. Well, let's recall the relationship between the image height and the object height and the image distance and the object distance. The ratio of the image height to the object height is equal to negative of the ratio of the image distance to the object distance. So we're looking for HI, the image height. So let's rearrange and solve for HI. HI is equal to the negative of the product of the image distance and the object height divided by the object distance. So we know what our DI is that was calculated in part A. So 0 0.063 
three meters. We know what the object's height is, that's five centimeters, or equivalently 0.05 meters. And the object distance is given to be 1.2 meters. So, negative of 0.063 meters multiplied by 0.05 meters divided by 1.2 meters gives us about negative 0.0026 meters or equivalently negative 0.26 centimeters. Now what exactly is the meaning behind the negative sign? The negative sign simply implies that the image is inverted. It's upside down relative to our, Im our object that is right side up. So if we draw our image, it looks something like this. So the image is given by I and the object is given by O.